Hey kids, it's me, Teacher A. In this video, we're going to use truth tables to prove logical equivalences. Okay, are you ready? Okay, let's start. But before I give the meaning of logical equivalence or uh, the meaning of logically equivalent propositions or statements, I want you to recall this table. Do you still remember? Okay. This table defines a conditional. You see, if P, then Q. And what is so special about this table? It is only false. Kapag true ang hypothesis and false ang conclusion. And then, let's create another table. Okay? Can you give me the truth values of not P? So, madali lang yan, no? All we have to do is to negate these values. Right? The negation of a true statement is false. The negation of a false statement is true. That's why... We have these values. All right? Okay. Next, we get the truth values of not P or Q. This is a disjunction. Okay? And what do we know about disjunction? If at least one is true, the combination is true. Basta may isang true. Totoo na yung combination. Okay? So, we focus on these values. Okay? And... This values. Okay? So, ito, T or F. So, that's true. Kasi may isang true. Ito, false. Okay? Dito, true. Dito, true rin. Okay? So, we have these values. And what do you observe? Okay? Tingnan nyo yung mga um, set of truth values. They both have T, F, T, T. Diba? So, pareho. They have the same set of truth values given um, this combination of truth values of P and Q. So that's our observation here. Propositions, if P, then Q, and not P or Q have the same values in the truth table. Diba? Kitang kita naman natin dito. Now, let us consider again the two previous tables, okay? Okay, ito yung truth table for if P, then Q. Ito naman ang truth table for not P or Q, okay? Now, we create another table, okay? So, I'm going to consider if P, then Q, at saka not P or Q. Gagawin natin siyang by conditional, okay? So, Yan yung mga i-consider nating value. So, kinuha ko lang, T, F, T, T. Ganun din naman yung not P or Q. T, F, T, T. Right? Okay. What do we know about biconditional? Okay? It is true kapag same yung value ng mga components. Ito yung mga components, di ba? Ito yung first component. This is the second component. So, kapag pareho ang kanilang values, True ang biconditional. So, lumalabas, ito ay true lahat. Now, what can you say about a proposition kapag true lahat ang nasa last column? It is a tautology. Okay? So, that's our second observation here. The biconditional proposition here, if P, then Q, if and only if, not P, or Q is a tautology. This is the notation for tautology, a tau. Okay? Combining the previous observation and this observation, we can now define logically equivalent propositions. Here it is. The propositions, if P, then Q, and not P or Q, are said to be logically equivalent. Why? Because they have the same values in the truth table. Nakita natin kanina, right? And the biconditional proposition, okay, with these two 
as components, we have a tautology. Nakita rin natin kanina. Okay? And how do we denote a logical equivalence? Ganito. We use a chubby double-headed arrow. Okay? This is not if and only if. Ito ang if and only if. Yung payat na double-headed arrow. Yung chubby na double-headed arrow, yan yung logical equivalence. Para siyang equal. Okay? So actually, ito yung mas kilalang um, notation for logical equivalence. Okay? Tatlong line. Okay? So para talaga siyang equal, you may replace this conditional statement by not P or Q. Actually, may tawag dito sa logical equivalence na ito. This one is called switcheroo law. There are many other laws of logical equivalences. Okay? I'm going to discuss other laws in my next video. Okay? Okay, so for now, this video, we're just going to focus on proving logical equivalence using truth tables. Okay? So, paano ulit ipapakita ang logical equivalence by truth tables? Kailangan lang pareho sila doon sa last column. Okay? So, let's prove more here. Okay? So, let's verify the logical equivalences. So, dalawa to. Okay? Ang tawag dito, the Morgan's Law. Okay? It's like distributing the negative sign here, the negation. Tingnan nyo. Kapag dinistribute nyo to, it will become negative P. Ayan, no? Okay? And then, negative Q here. Okay? And then, magpabaliktad lang yung sign. If it's or, magiging and. Okay? So, same dito. Kapag dinistribute mo ang negative sign dito sa and. Okay? Magiging negative P, tapos ito, or negative Q. Ito mismo yun. Okay? So, you just imagine distributing a negative sign. Okay? Yun lang yung De Morgan's Law. Alright? Okay. So, Unahin muna natin ito. Okay, so we're going to use truth tables here. Okay, so diretso na kasi by this time, you are all experts in creating or constructing truth tables. Okay, so let's just review the values. Okay, so here are the possible combination of truth values of P and Q, right? T, T, F, F, and then T, F, T, F. And then, P or Q has this set of truth values. If at least one is true, yeah, the combination is true. Magko false lang siya dito. Okay, check. And now we get the negation. Madali lang naman, negation ng true, false. Ang negation ng false, true. So we have this set of truth values for the negation of P or Q. Let's now have the truth table for this um, proposition. Here. Okay. So we have um, negation of P. So we negate all these values. So that's why we have F, F, T, T. And then negation of Q. So negate these values. So you have F, T, F, T. And then you combine this too. You seeing the connector. And, and what do we know about a conjunction? Magiging true lang yan kapag both true. Itong dalawang propositions na ito. Okay, so kagaya nito. Wala, parang false. So definitely false. Ito false din. Ito false. Dito lang siya true. Okay, so you have F, 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 T. Ayan o, pareho sila. Okay, so you say um, this proposition the negation of P or Q is logically equivalent to not P and not Q. Again, it is easy to remember the Morgan's Law. It is like distributing a negative sign. All right? Okay. Let's have the other logical equivalents. Okay? So, actually, di ba kanina, we created two tables. Pwede namang isang table lang. For this logical equivalence. Parang ganito. Okay? So, ito yung mga possible combination ng P and Q. And then, we create 
a column for P and Q. So, combine lang natin tong dalawang to. Mag-true lang yan kapag parehong true. So, that's why we have this set of truth values. Next, we negate it. Okay, we negate um, P and Q. So, it, instead of having T, F, 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 you have F, T, T, T. Okay, so you're done with this um, left-hand side. Dito naman tayo sa right-hand side. So, first, we need to get the negation of P. So, instead of having two T's and two F's, you're going to have two F's, two T's. Now, for the negation of Q, and negate nyo lang to, right? So, instead of having T, F, T, F, you're now going to have F, T, F, T. Okay? And then, you're going to combine them, yung not P at saka not Q, using the connector or. This is a disjunction. And what do we know about this junction? If at least one is true, the combination is true. So, ito false. Ito true. Kasi may isang true. Ito ren true. Ito ren true. So, that's why we have F, T, T, T. Now, you look at this. You see, yung negation ng P and Q has the same value as not P or not Q. So, they are logically equivalent propositions. All right? Okay. Now, let's have this last example. Okay? So, sinadya ko siyang blank so that we can fill this table together. We're going to prove the logical equivalence of these two propositions. Yung una, um, if P and Q, then R, okay? And then the second proposition is, if P, then R, or if Q, then R. Okay, yan. Kinolor yellow ko sila dito. Yan yung ipapakita natin na pareho ng truth values. Okay. So now, we have three letters. P, Q, R. So, please recall all the possible combinations of truth values. So, madali namang i-memorize yun, right? So, it's just um, for true, right? And then, apat na false. And for Q, we have 2T, tapos dalawang F, dalawang P, okay, tapos dalawang F, right? Okay. What about for R? Okay, ito yung alternating naman. True, false, true, false, true, false, true, false. Right? Okay. Now, we need this conjunction, P and Q. So, we're going to combine P and Q, the truth values for P and Q. So, what do we know about this conjunction? True lang yan kapag pareho. True. So, maghanap tayo muna. Ito, true. Alin pa dyan? Ito rin. True. Okay, ito. Oh. True, 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 true. Ito, true, false, true, false, false, true, false, true, false, 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 false. Sa lahat na tong false. So, let us write. False na yan lahat. Kasi hindi, what, hindi sila both true. Okay? Okay, now, we get the truth values of if P and Q, then R. So, ito ang ating hypothesis. Okay? And this is our conclusion. Okay? Again, ito ang ating hypothesis. Okay. So, again, anong meron sa conditional? False yan kapag true ang hypothesis, tapos false ang conclusion. Parang ito. Dito siya false. Right? You see? True ang hypothesis, false ang conclusion. Saan pa siya um, false? Okay. So, dun lang. The rest, true. Okay? So, true lahat yan. Okay. So, we're done with the first proposition here. Okay? So, we move on to the second proposition. Okay. Let's have this conditional. If P, then R. So, ito yon. You look at this first column and third column. So, what do we know about conditional again? It is false when the hypothesis is true and the conclusion is false. 
hanap lang tayo nun. Okay, so P and R ha. Okay, ito. Ito, this one is false. Here, false dito. Kasi true ang hypothesis, false ang conclusion. Okay, asan pa? Ito. You see, here at saka dito. Okay, so it is also false. Saan pa? Okay, wala na. Alright? So, ito ay true. True. The rest are true. Okay? What about this one? If Q, then R. So, again, hahanap lang kayo na true hypothesis tapos false ang conclusion. Para false yan. Okay? So, itong dalawang magkatabing ito. Here. Kita nyo? Ito o. Oh. Okay, true ang hypothesis, false ang conclusion. So, ito ay false. San pa? Hindi naman tong false true. Here, kita nyo? Okay, true ang hypothesis, false ang conclusion. So, it is false. So, yun lang yung false. The rest, they are all true. Okay, so lagyan lang natin. True lahat yan. Okay? And then finally, we combine these two propositions using the word or. Okay? So, if at least one is true, the entire statement or the combination is true. So, this one is true. Ito false kasi wala namang true. Ito true, true, true. Okay. So, do you see it? Okay? Pareho sila ng set of truth values. Okay, so they are logically equivalent propositions. So I think that's it. I hope you learned something from this video. Please don't forget to like this video, share this video to your friends, and please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.